In this video, we're going to be looking at coenzyme Q10 and how it can impact hair loss. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair God YouTube channel. On this channel, we create tons of science-backed YouTube videos just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So let's get into the video on the coenzyme Q10. Well, coenzyme Q10 is also known as ubiquinol and CoQ10, and it's a fat-soluble substance that is stored within the tissues of the body. Although it is somewhat related to a vitamin, it is not strictly described as such because the body is actually able to synthesize it. CoQ10 exists within the eukaryotic cells in the body, primarily within the mitochondria. Here it is used in the synthesis of energy in the form of ATP. This cellular respiration process produces 95% of the total energy reserve within the human body, so coenzyme Q10 is a vital element in the optimal functioning of cells within the body. A reduced level of coenzyme Q10 causes symptoms such as muscle weakness, tiredness, reduced stamina and even premature aging of the skin and hair, to name just a few. So let's look at a few food sources of coenzyme Q10. Now it's found in significant amounts in vegetable oils, especially in soybean, olive and grapeseed oils, and these can all reduce hair loss in their own right. It's also found in nuts or legumes, particularly peanuts, you've got avocado, sesame seeds, organic meats, cruciferous vegetables including broccoli and cauliflower, and in the herbal plants, parsley and perilla. Cooking these at high temperatures significantly decreases the amount of coenzyme Q10 within food. Now, what about when it comes to aging with the coenzyme Q10? Well, the level of CoQ10 in the body decreases with age and is especially low in people who suffer from conditions such as heart disease, Parkinson's syndrome, cancer, muscular dystrophy, diabetes, and HIV. It is generally recommended that people between the ages of 20 to 40 should regularly receive 30 milligrams of coenzyme Q10 per day. People aged between 40 to 50 should be receiving between 50 to 100 milligrams, and people over 60 need to be up to 200 milligrams per day. The most bioactive form of coenzyme Q10 is ubiquinol, and it is recommended that this form be taken for the best results, particularly for people who are getting older or who suffer from ill health. So we're going to look at coenzyme Q10 and its impact in hair growth. Well, the first thing coenzyme Q10 does is it boosts the production of hair keratins. Coenzyme Q10 has an anti-aging effect on hair health as it boosts the process of gene expression, which is involved in the synthesis of hair keratins, especially the proteins that are compromised by the aging process. A clinical trial was conducted to evaluate a coenzyme Q10 enriched tonic formula, which was used every day over the course of four days by a group of volunteers over the age of 40. The results showed a proliferation of hair keratins in the hair roots of the participants who had used the shampoo. Also, coenzyme Q10 works as an antioxidant. Well, when it's in the form of ubiquinol, it's also a strong antioxidant which neutralizes the free radicals that cause oxidative damage to the body's DNA and cells. It is also able to restore the body's supply of vitamin C and vitamin E to their bioactive forms. Vitamin C and E are also antioxidants. This double antioxidant effect protects the cells in the hair follicle from the damage caused by pollution and toxins as well as the damage associated with the aging process. The third thing is that it has an important role in the metabolism of energy. Well, a lack of coenzyme Q10 can affect the production of ATP because coenzyme Q10 plays an important part in the electron transfer process in aerobic cellular respiration, where cellular energy in the form of ATP is synthesized. If suitable levels of ATP are not met, the body will use testosterone to produce cellular energy. This results in the production of DHT or dihydrotestosterone, which has been proven to cause hormone-related hair loss. A clinical trial discusses the role of DHT in male pattern baldness in mice. Also, coenzyme Q10 can increase the oxygen flow to the scalp. A sufficient supply of oxygen is required to formulate cellular energy in the structure of ATP, and a lack of oxygen in the blood results in the weakening of the hair follicles, rendering them more liable to break and fall out. Now, there are a few pieces of anecdotal evidence out there that talk about the success people have had with coenzyme and Q10 when it comes to hair restoration. 
Now, one member of a hair loss forum called Hairsite.com had shared a hair restoration success story about his elderly parents, both in their 80s. For a period of two months, they had been taking a 400mg supplement of coenzyme Q10. However, he did not specify the frequency of the supplementation, and he reported that after the two month period, both of his parents began to grow dark hair. His mother's hair had previously been thinning and was completely white in colour, while his father had been experiencing androgenetic alopecia with a bald spot increasing in size at the top of his head ever since the age of 30. After supplementing with the coenzyme Q10 for two months, his mother began to grow dark hair all over his head, and her, his father began to begin dark, to grow dark hair over his bald spot. Now, when taking supplements of coenzyme Q10, it is recommended that the safest dose is an upper limit of 1200 milligrams per day. However, if you are going to take it, make sure that you consult with your physician. And if you are pregnant, then it is very important that you do not take this supplement. And if you do want to take it, check with your doctor. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on coenzyme Q10. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.